Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Jalip tribe. They have just taken the leap across the open waters to the brand new island, and already we are having some issues, because Van Van has managed somehow to get himself stuck in a cactus. <laughs> and I don't know what to say about that other than it's not proving points in his possible leadership. That is, that is all I'll say there. But thankfully, we have plenty of food to be able to see us through some of the rocky mistakes here in this new land. I see a nest right here. We will definitely be heading straight for it. We will be trying to perch some of our creatures next to these trees. If I can, I may actually send somebody to just sit under the tree and shake it and gather the nuts. Um, maybe even send them up along the beach side in case that's a little bit safer or faster to move along than the grasses and we will have to send our pregnant females of which we have four now over to the nest so that they can give birth the very first birth here on the new island and it is a doozy of an island look at the sheer size of it it is going to take us quite a while to explore all of this and many many generations of the Jalip tribe to really be able to investigate everything it has to offer we also have brought with us not only the eight healthiest, strongest, and most genetically diverse in terms of immunity at the very least of the last island, but we have also brought little Duke New. Little Duke New, our blind child who is the child of the two blind seers that we had on the old island. And a lot of you guys may be very confused as to why we would keep the blind trait, but at the last moment last time when we were about to leave the island, Duke New's parents were attacked or alerted the tribe depending on how you want to look at it of two predators and those two predators spurred a flurry of fighting and they ended up providing a lot of food and because we had to stay to fight off the predators then the rain came again and we actually went from about 160 food to 250 because of this little one duke news parents holding us back so i thought that it, when i found out there was an extra slot we definitely had to send their child to the new island in their memory so We've left behind so many creatures, and I can't believe all the stories that are gone now. But we have these ones here and a chance to make some new stories. Kiro here is actually one of the strongest leaders of the tribe. He is very strong, um, but actually, who is our leader leader? Is it Dukrovan? I think it's Dukrovan, yes. So Dukrovan is actually the strongest with his venomous and his strength. He also has great collecting, so I think we will let him be the first to walk up here and kind of make sure this nest is safe. And then we will send the eldest female who's pregnant. I think that's gonna be Rila. Uh, yeah, there's Kola. All of the females are expecting. There's Lako. Rila is expecting, and she's the eldest female. And there's a berry bush, thank goodness. She kind of, Rila, I was trying to get you into the nest. <laughs> oh well, she found a berry bush, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna move her around it though. And we're gonna start sending everybody up here, I think. So. Who should I send next? We'll send Cola up. I probably will find a nest under the tree. Who knows? I think these are actually procedurally generated. So who knows how it will actually turn out. But we'll send Vonro up here. So he can start doing a little bit of exploring too. And then Cola, We'll send her up. Doing very careful exploring. I don't want to leave too many of our creatures unexposed. Um, exposed, I mean, to the wilderness, but I also need to make sure my females can be near a nest and start having babies. We chose the best of the best we could possibly find for this, but it's not going to do us any good. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure we study both of those. It's not going to do us any good to have had our females <laughs> not be able to have their babies and to lose everybody um, to just, just getting lost and dying of old age before they can have babies. All right, come here, Van Van. <laughs> you need to get out of your cactus now. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried, to be completely honest, that he would be stuck in there. So let's get Van Van over here to kind of keep an eye on and help out Cola. And let's go ahead and see what's gonna happen here, you guys. We've got a big adventure to go on. Oh, already I hear predators. Oh, really? Oh boy, okay. Rila, let's go ahead and have you investigate. Let's have you pick a berry, and then let's have you jump into the nest to have your baby. Lako, you can go ahead and investigate, and then we'll send you over to stand next to next to Rila. And then Duke New, can, he can do some berry harvesting. So I'm gonna have him investigate both of these spots, and we'll move him over to harvest berries in a second. 
And then Vanro as one of our strongest and Dukrovan as one of our strongest. You guys can't take this Russell Russell lying down. Come on, guys. We've we've got it. We've got to tell this guy who's like boss, and that's us. Now we poisoned him, and let's give him a good attack. What is this? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Is he about ready to go? And actually, Cola, can you do an attack too? I hate to have exposed my pregnant female, actually. Uh, can I move anybody else in to help? I can't. I don't know about having just exposed one of my pregnant females to this vicious attack. Uh, that was probably a very bad thing to do. Kiro, can you help out? Is there anything to explore nearby? Not quite, so let's send him this way. I want to be sure that we are starting to clear out some of the areas. What is this about? Don't you dare attack her. I will not be pleased. Oh, he died! Thank goodness! He died of the poisoning. Wonderful. So we'll go ahead and have cola. Uh, how about no? Van Van. Oh, it's a it's a bunny. It disappeared into the bushes. Oh, and Van Van, look. It's some food. And there's another bunny. Can I get it? And there's a nest. I knew there would be a nest. Cola, you earned so many points of awesomeness for being bold enough to explore. And now you have a nest. It's next to a bunny burrow. Cola is kind of sitting on top of like a great nest. That's what she gets for being bold. <gasps> Our first new baby. The very first new birth on the island. Rokier. Welcome, little Rokier. You have antlers inherited from who knows where. B and H immunity. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good collection strength and speed that's what I'm talking about great that's just he's he's healthy across the board you guys that's everything we ever wanted so a and B immunity G and B so you're not quite the male I would want to have her mate with again uh, let's see D and H D and H is probably yeah D and H is probably who I would want her to mate with so I'm gonna move her over here get pregnant again like ASAP because we've got to make sure we can have tons and tons of babies and then I'll have these guys start doing a little bit of exploring over here. I wonder what that tree trunk does. We'll have to keep an eye on it. And as soon as the baby is old enough, maybe I shouldn't have left it alone, actually. But as soon as the baby is old enough, we will actually be um, moving Lako into the nest. So sorry, Mirana. You might have to wait or we might send her down. I might actually send her this way. So that she can help out over here with shaking the tree, collecting nuts, and they can share this nest. So we'll have two females on each nest. And actually, I think you guys warned me again and again and again not to leave the babies unattended. So I may have... Oh, yes, there's a whole berry bush right here. I may have just made a very big mistake <laughs> leaving the baby untended. Well, we have Duke New. He's blind, but he can stay here with the little one. Oh my gosh, we have the very first little one. The very first child born on this island. It knows none of its past. It doesn't know anything about the cookie tree tribe, even though, thank goodness, we have another tree to help us continue on that legacy. And I do want to have Duke New have a child. And I actually want to send Duke New and his descendants over to this nest so that they can kind of keep watch on what will be the next island that we go to. I think that would be very fitting. And that would also isolate the blind gene to that little spit of a section over there. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens. A birth, a birth, a birth is going to happen. <gasps> a new baby, Isami. Wow, B and F immunity. She's got decent, uh, some decent skills. We'll leave her mom right here. Her mom has plenty to do exploring the area. We don't have to worry. And then we'll go ahead and gather up this food, gather up this food. We can shake the tree again. There's more food just raining from the sky. It's pretty awesome, to be honest. I probably need to move Van Van, um, but maybe I should have had her get pregnant. I really have to keep my females constantly getting pregnant right now, which sounds kind of bad, but the fact of the matter is they're getting older and we really need to make sure we utilize their time as much as possible. All right, and Duke New, I'm going to go ahead and move you up here. I don't know how you can explore that spot because you can't see, but I won't ask questions. Look, another berry bush. Sweet. Okay. That's good. Lako, you stay here. Yeah, my females are starting to get older, so we definitely want to have them having lots and lots of babies. All right, and then my two males right here. Dukrovan, are you going to be the one I will have I and A? Yeah, I would probably have Dukrovan breed with Lako as well, so I need to keep Dukrovan nearby. 
so that he can have more babies with Lako as need be. So we'll have him explore this spot. And then Valro, A and F, so no, I wouldn't have him breed with her or her. So it seems that Vondro would actually stay over here and he would mate with Cola. In fact, I think I can actually make that happen if I get him over there now. He has to fight his way through though. Oh, but we can do it. Oh, no, she's caring for her baby. So she said, no, <laughs> I can't blame her. She's already got a baby to care for. All right, speaking of babies to care for, let's see Lako go ahead and have her next baby. And I'm so excited. Rila, she is the granddaughter of our chocolate chip, uh, niece, our chocolate chip heir. Uh, of, like, chocolate chip was so amazing. She had no paw, and so she wasn't able to actually pick any berries off a tree. And she showed up out of the grasses one day in the rain under a tree and fell in love with Van Kirvan, and they had their amazing story. So I'm trying very hard to make sure that we keep track of Chocolate Chips' line and we make sure, in fact, Rilera, I'm gonna make sure I turn your icons blue and I wanna make sure we have grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren of Chocolate Chip that look somewhat like her. So hopefully Rila will have another spotted child and it will be a daughter and then it can inherit the great-grandchild position of Chocolate Chip. So that's what we're trying very hard with there. And let's see what kind of baby Lako will have. All right, Lako. Rain, yes. Oh, and a bunny, yes. An Ana Anala. Oh my gosh. That's so wonderful. A healthy baby. I am just thrilled. And she's a good fighter and a good berry collector. Duke Nu is here, ready to go. Come on. Aw. How did that how did that little guy get away from us? Did he just like sink into quicksand when it rains? Does that turn into quicksand? No way. Is that impassable now? It is! I had to, like, waste a move to be sure, but I just, I couldn't believe it. It is impossible now. What? Okay, and I and A immunity. Yeah, so, oh my gosh. Yeah, these two are identical. They may even be related, so I can't have them breed. But I'll have Dukrovan uh, pop over here. And I'll scooch her just right over here. And Dukrovan can come over here. And we'll move him right here. And they'll breed, and she can do some berry collecting. And Rila can do some exploring. And then... And then she can do some more exploring, and we'll move her into the nest in a little bit. Alright, and Kiro, he has G and B, so he would actually be the one that would probably... I have a lot of males over here. Oh, that's right, because I have Duknu over here. So durr, I wouldn't be breeding Duknu anyway. All right, so I'll probably just have to keep an eye on things. All right, let's move again. Just see what we have over here. And we have our healthy baby, Isami, over here. She, unfortunately, does have no paw lingering around, so we'll have to be very careful with her. It may be her fate to end up helping out with the trees. That tends to be what our no paw children do. B and H immunity, A and D immunity. That's right, because she was going to breed with him. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to move him, darn. I thought I had selected her. All right, that's fine. All right, and we'll go ahead and grab that. And then we'll go ahead and shake the tree again. And then Mirana will move over here. She can explore this spot and collect these. And then Vonro, we can collect these bear or these nuts on the ground, but I think Vonro should probably be doing some exploring because he's pretty strong. So I'll send him over here and just have him start doing some exploring over here. Good, so we'll, we'll be cautious with our use of our berries and hopefully cautious with our babies. Jokir, I'm so excited. We're really starting to end up with some good babies. Let's see if we can find some more nests too. That would definitely help out. I still think that uh, that Kola actually found a great nest right over here too. So Lara Anna, all right. Oh, she's got fangs, yes. We've got some great genetics going on in this tribe. I swear, it's fantastic. D and A immunity. She has blind eye secondary, so maybe we might end up mating her with our blind seer uh, so that he can pass on his, his blindness, his trait to his children and offspring. She's protecting her baby, um, but D and B immunity, A and F, D and I, uh, I think these two are the ones, they have fanged children, and I've never purposely bred for fangs before. So I will go ahead and do that, and have her collect that. And then this little one actually gets to help collect up all of the, the different nuts, which I think is kind of cool. 
<gasps> what? There's a new male! Eee! Eee! What? What are you doing showing up here? <laughs> this is another story! He's a sickly male, you guys! He is a sickly male showing up on a rainy day under a tree. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of what is this? Okay, so he's about halfway through his life. He has blue eye secondary, E immunity, and he's got decent-ish stats. He has blind eye secondary. Uh, what? Welcome, I guess. You definitely have just made my gene pool more exciting. You can help out by shaking the tree and knocking down some nuts. I don't think Van Van would be very happy. I think Van Van is going to go ahead and gather up this nut, but then get out of here. We've got plenty of food, so I really should be exploring. I don't know what Van Van thinks about only having so many females and suddenly having an intruder just come in. That's kind of... Wow. Uh, and let's go ahead and do some exploring of this space. So there we go. Wow. Wasn't expecting that, that's for sure. Alright, let's make a little bit of room. We're going to get Ana Ala. We'll move her over here. And let's get Rila into the nest so that she can have her baby. I really want to see a grandchild of the chocolate chip legacy after all. And let's see, we can do a little bit of collecting. You're level four. I'll move you up here and you can do a little bit of collecting. Oh, and that destroyed the bush. I was hoping that would make it regrow. Well, I learned an important lesson there, guys. Probably getting <laughs> totally yelled at by so many people right now, but it's important to learn. All right, what is this? What have I just found? There's so many new discoveries already. This is amazing. All right, and Duke knew. Uh, let's send you up here then. What? There's a bunny. Ah, oh, I can't get the bunny. He's, uh, that's the bunny that tried to run away from us. All right, we'll do this exploring. Duke knew, you come up here and you can guard this flower because this is, this is very interesting. I have no idea what to think about these new plants. This new flower is a bit concerning, Duke knew. So maybe his superior sense of smell will help out in answering what that flower is all about. All right, so we've got a newbie. We've got Kira Duke. He has joined the tribe, showed up on a rainy day. I don't know if this is going to be quite the same love story, so we'll have to see. And let's see, green eyes. We can finally have green eyes, you guys. So we'll go ahead and continue on with our genetic mutations. And let's see what baby Rila has. So, and we have something shaking in the bushes. We need to keep an eye on that. <gasps> Rila! Oh, she's so cute. Congratulations, Rila. La Sisi. So La Sisi, really good at collecting. Decent at strength. She has H and B immunity, healthy across the board, wonderful. And she's got the dots, not brown fur, but, well, she has brown fur, but not like as brown as, as her great-grandmother chocolate chip. But La Sisi, okay, La Sisi, so far it's on this tiny child's shoulders that we may be able to carry on the chocolate chip legacy. So that's what I really wanted is to make sure I had at least one female born from this line. And that happened. And now we're just gonna have to do some more brave exploring. Kiro, G and B immunity. So Kiro, I'll send you over to breed. In fact, I'll send her up here and breed her there. There we go. And Liko, I will just leave you alone. Oh, wait, Liko, can you reach that bunny? Darn. Okay, sorry I wasted that, you guys. I was just curious if she could reach the bunny. The Krovan, can I send you? Oh, he's got like a heightened view of everything. <gasps> That's so cool. And then Kiro over here. Can you eat these? Do they heal you if you're hurt or sick? I think that's what they're for. All right, oh, another nest! Yes, yes, I needed that really badly. Oh, thank goodness. And then I'm gonna move you over here, my little friend. And actually, it seems like even though Duke Nu is blind, he's actually helping out quite a bit, so that's really good. And then down here, I'm going to move little Lara Anna over. Um, she's got a pretty good bite to her, actually. So I don't think she'd be afraid when it comes to defending- <gasps> What was that? It was feathered! It was feathered! Von Ro! What on earth did we just see? Von Ro! What? Von Ro! Von Ro! Is it food? Is it food? Oh my gosh! Von Ro! We've had so many shocks. 
I don't even know where to begin with all of the shocks. <laughs> Can I tackle it like from here? Is that possible? Mariana? Maybe? Can I get little Lariana to help out or is the bird gonna come eat her? I don't think Mariana likes that. Cola, you go ahead and sit on the nest. Mariana. What just happened? What is this guy? I don't think Mariana liked how close it was getting to her child, so she had to go attack it. But I'm I'm so flummoxed right now. This is amazing. All right, well, this is turning out to be pretty interesting. Uh, Kier Duke, why don't you come over and help us out with this this issue? Um, this is very interesting. And we'll go ahead and gather these berries. And then Von Von, we're gonna have to, oh, there's another little tree stump. I'm gonna have to have Von Von explore some more and have more babies. We have another empty area. Can I actually get Lako up there? I can, so she can have her baby next turn. Oh man, you guys, things are getting pretty awesome. And then a little Rook here, I'm gonna send him over here so he can start like exploring. Things are getting pretty darn awesome. We just saw some gobble gobbles. <laughs> we just saw some gobble gobbles. Our first line of children born on the island are already starting to get older. We need to really kick up the breeding efforts with a lot of these females now that we have another nest that's going to help because we need to see all of their genetics secured as, as much as we can. We just have to breed, 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 and then we'll have to like look and see what we end up with. And we're going to have to see what's rustling in the bushes, what this plant does. Oh my goodness, and these lookout posts are the best. This is awesome. This is awesome. And we got Van Van out of the cactus. So this is amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.